大家好, I'm Nathan Rich, aka Wang. It's always interesting to see how trusting people are in the media of their choice. They send me links to articles or videos proving this or that. I guess I'm just not as agreeable as they are. I don't know. I don't believe almost anything, at least not enough to act based on one single report. In fact, there are more and more people these days that feel as I do. But what if we were to fan out, spread out reading, and look for diverse opinions? Well, sometimes even that isn't enough. Sometimes everywhere we look is the same message. Let me show you what I mean. I just want you to know something. Listen very, very carefully to the words that I say about Hong Kong. Ready? The city is bracing for another weekend of demonstrations. Okay? I find it very strange when people do trust the media so much, like I said. When you're like me, you have to search news day in and day out. People send me articles and videos, I research like crazy, and even I can't read it all. There's just too much information out there. But even though I can't see it all, I can find patterns. Let's examine a small, unimportant narrative about Hong Kong. Like I told you, the city is bracing for another weekend of demonstrations. Or at least that's what Nikkei.com said. The city is bracing for another weekend of demonstrations. Well, maybe I don't trust Nikkei.com. I mean, I've never heard of Nikkei Asian Review before, so I'm going to check another site. How about the International Business Times? What do they say is going on with Hong Kong? Oh, they've written, The city is bracing for yet another weekend of protests and demonstrations. Hmm. Well, maybe I live in Chicago and I just want to see what my local news says about Hong Kong instead. What do they say? The city is bracing for more protests over the weekend. News Daily? Hong Kong? The city is already bracing for further disruption. Okay, well, let, let, let's get out of here. Let's just check a big news agency, CNBC. Tell me what's going on with Hong Kong. Hong Kong braces for weekend protests. What the hell? I guess there's just nothing else going on in Hong Kong other than the city is bracing. AFP, the finance hub braces for another weekend of clashes. Associated Press, Hong Kong braces for airport protests. CNBC Reuters, Hong Kong braces for more protests. Okay, Reuters, the city braces for more protests. Braces, I get it, they're, they're bracing. Al Jazeera, Hong Kong braces for more demonstrations this weekend. Time, Hong Kong braces for another weekend of protests. The list goes on. Again and again, we find the same message. Is it laziness that causes reporters to copy each other? Is someone coordinating the message? Are these reports all just coincidences? They're all using the exact same word, brace. Is that coincidence too? Well, I'm not going to tell you what I think, but I do want to leave you with a very interesting and popular video I saw a while ago. This is a real compilation video. Remember as you watch this, if you think anything funny is going on, it's because you are paranoid. The West is free. Democracy is real. Freedom of speech means you can finally feel free to trust the media. If you disagree with that, it's because you're brainwashed. There's nothing weird going on with this video. Got it? I am Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible, one-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 
This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. So there you have it. Just a totally normal compilation of news reports. Coincidence, I guess. Just like Hong Kong bracing for protests this weekend. I'll keep sifting through the articles and videos. This was just a quick video to show you what I think of when I see this from so many different news agencies. Even if you're getting the message of hate from many channels, remember, it's okay to love China. And that is just from me to you. Thanks, everybody. See ya.